I'm Cassandra Bodzak, and thank you for tuning in. I'm a spiritual mentor, self-help author, and I'm here to show you one of my top tools for eliminating overwhelm and anxiety. One of the things I work with women one-on-one -on, -one on in all of my signature trainings is really moving through these things that block us, that self-sabotage us. And one of the things that keeps us paralyzed including myself, is overwhelm and anxiety. And as someone that has had to traverse the path of overwhelm and anxiety for years and knowing what I can do to karate chop it when it comes in and stops me from getting the clarity and the momentum that I need to take the next step. I know that we are living in a time right now where more of you are feeling anxiety and overwhelm than ever with everything going on. And we all have perhaps our different things that are leading into this anxiety and overwhelm. But the truth is when it comes to anxiety and overwhelm, it doesn't even matter what's causing it. And sometimes you get to the point where you don't even know exactly what is causing it. You just feel so anxious and overwhelmed. So the point is, I want to show you some EFT tapping that's going to help relieve your anxiety and overwhelm tremendously. The tapping round I'm going to do right now is centered around kind of everything that's going on in the world right now with the coronavirus and self-quarantine. Um, but you can Feel free to adapt this to yourself and whatever is bringing you overwhelm and anxiety right now. And so follow along with me. The first round, I'll explain all the tapping rounds and then we'll go into a full round of tapping, okay? So we'll start off on the karate chop point here. And we're going to do a couple, I'm going to say a few affirmations you're going to repeat after me. And then we're going to move to above the eye. After above the eye, we're going to go to the side of the eye. After the side of the eye, we'll go below the eye, under the nose, in between the lip and the bottom of the chin, right here, your collarbone. Then we're going to go to the bra strap point, I call it, and then the top of the head. And so you can just follow along with me in the video. Follow where my hands are, keep your eyes open, and just repeat after me. So we're going to start here on the karate chop point. And before we begin, I want you to just mentally note on a scale of 1 to 10 how anxious and overwhelmed you're feeling. Um, so if 10 is super anxious and overwhelmed, 1 is not anxious at all, I want you to note where you are on that scale, and then we can begin and we're going to note where you are at the end so you can really see the power of this practice because it's pretty incredible. So we're tapping on the karate chop point. Even though I'm feeling so anxious right now, so overwhelmed and anxious right now, I still love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling so incredibly overwhelmed and anxious right now, I still completely love and accept myself. And now we're going to move right again to above the eye. I feel so incredibly anxious. Side of the eye. I feel so overwhelmed under the eye. I'm paralyzed in this place below the nose. I feel like I don't know how to take the next step ahead right now. If only I could get out of this overwhelming anxiety. If only I could feel some relief. But with everything going on in the world right now, it feels impossible not to feel overwhelmed and anxious. And with everything going on in my personal life right now, it feels impossible not to feel overwhelmed and anxious. Oh, just taking a deep breath. I am willing to not feel overwhelmed and anxious. Tied to the eye. It feels pretty impossible right now, but I'm willing. And I know that that's the first step. I'd really love to see this differently. I'd really love to see some silver lining. I'd love to even have just some peace in my mind. I'd love to have some clarity to move ahead on what I could be doing today 
But honestly, I'm just still feeling so much overwhelm and anxiety. I know that this is not for my highest good. I want to feel more peace so that I can act in the best way possible right now. I want to show up for myself, my family, my community, my work, and the world. I want to do what would be most nourishing and most productive right now. Maybe it's resting. Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's taking an online course. It doesn't really matter what it is. I'm just ready to receive that guidance. I am ready to move out of overwhelm and anxiety and take the next step. I'm releasing any overwhelm and anxiety in my physical body. I'm releasing any of the tension that I might have because of this overwhelm and anxiety in my physical body. I'm releasing all overwhelm and anxiety from my energetic field, cleaning and clearing releasing it on a cellular level. I am clear of my overwhelm and anxiety. And I will continue to be clearing all overwhelm and anxiety in my mind, body, and soul. I am open to do the most loving, nourishing thing right now. Whether that is taking care of myself, whether that is helping out someone I love, whether that is something to do with my work, whatever the next right action is for my good and the greater good, I am open and I am willing. I am ready to move ahead, mind, body, and soul. And take a nice deep breath. And release. And you can do that as many times. And you can speak over me with things that are true for you. What I like to recommend to my clients are to start out with me saying the, the basic things. And then allow your own train of thought to come in. So if you're like, you know, I'm anxious because uh, what if I don't have enough food? Or I'm anxious because I don't know how I'm going to pay rent. Or I'm Use those examples of what's true for you in this very moment while you're doing that. And feel free to interject them over as they're coming up in your head. Because as we're tapping, what's going to come up is, okay, well, what's the next thing we need to release? So I want to encourage you to do that. Um, I hope this, this helps you. I did this uh, live and I do this for my clients, like I said, pretty regularly. It's in some of my programs and it can get people from a nine or a 10 on the top of the scale down to like a three, two, one. Um, it's truly magnificent. And if you need to do a couple of rounds, do a couple of rounds. Like I said, once you get the hang of it, you can make it your own. Um, and it's a beautiful practice to have in your toolbox to really help you slay that overwhelming anxiety and shift into that moment of possibility. Because what happens is when we're in overwhelming anxiety, you know, we're so constricted. We can't see what the next thing is. We can't receive that guidance, right? And so once we relieve some of that pressure, we open up our mind to shift into um, a new direction and creative solutions, right? And so... During this time when anxiety and overwhelm can be exceedingly high um, or during any time it is exceedingly high, it can often be hard to meditate. And so what I have found is that either one, doing guided meditations are helpful and I have a lot of guided meditations on this channel, but also doing tapping and then meditating is really helpful for me because the tapping releases enough of the overwhelm and anxiety for me to be able to get into that relaxed space to really have a good meditation. So I will also be 
um, releasing a companion meditation to this called Releasing Overwhelm and Anxiety Guided Meditation. So you can check out the link for that below as soon as it's up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I have a special workshop that you can also um, order that's called From Overwhelm and Anxiety to Clarity and Momentum. For those of you that are really moving through a season of overwhelm and anxiety and really want to get clear on what that next step is for you and get some strategic action tips on how to move forward from there, um, check out the workshop below. I think it's going to really serve you um, and hopefully make your self-quarantine and this moment for you um, really um, a, a golden, sacred time. And I'm sending you all my love, and I hope to see you here again soon. Bye, guys.